winching is one of the safest forms of recovery off-road and there are plenty of different ways you can use your winch to get you or a mate's vehicle out of trouble off-road. Here's Borgie and Leash from the Off-Road Adventure Show to take you through it. Your four-wheel drive winch is one of the best and easiest ways to get you and your vehicle recovered. Trust me, we use our winches plenty in Tasmania. Now today, we're gonna run you through a few basic winching techniques, including the single line pull, the double line pull, and a winch redirect. Let's start off with the simplest one of all, the single line pull. Now the single line pull is one of the most basic winch techniques, but it does require some fairly specific gear to do it safely. First, you'll need a winch and a winch controller, then you'll need a tree trunk protector and at least one rated bow shackle. Start by selecting a recovery point. Now this could be a tree or another vehicle, we suggest using a tree though, because these don't tend to move on you. Select a tree that's well rooted into the ground and not a sapling or something that could easily break. Use the tree trunk protector to wrap around the base of the tree and connect the two ends together with your shackle. Once this is done, run out the winch rope from your vehicle using the free spool on your winch, which means it'll run out much quicker. Don't forget to re-engage your winch before starting the recovery. Once you have enough rope laid out, connect the winch rope to the bow shackle, making sure that the winch hook is connected to the pin on the shackle, and the tree trunk protector is free of any obstructions. Place a recovery blanket over the winch rope closer to the hook end of the rope than the vehicle. This blanket will ensure the rope drops to the ground if it breaks or a piece of gear fails. As soon as the rope is connected to the shackle, the recovery is live. That means from this point on, you should never step over the winch rope walk around it or disconnect it before stepping over it. Re-engage your winch if you haven't already and it's time to start winching. When you're a winching, it's important to only winch for a maximum of 30 seconds before allowing the winch to rest for at least 60 seconds. This allows the vehicle's battery to recover and the winch to perform to its potential. You can use other recovery aids like treads to help clear a path for your vehicle and make life easier on your winch as well. It's best to try and drive with your winch rather than let the winch do all the work, but it's important you only slowly rotate your tyres. Don't spin them too fast, as this can result in your vehicle becoming even more stuck. Now it's time for the double line pull. The double line pull is a great technique used to halve the load on your winch. In Tasmania, we pretty much went straight for a double line pull whenever there was a trailer involved, as it meant the winch would have a much better chance at recovering a stuck vehicle. Setting up a double line pull is not all that different to a single line. You still need to find a good anchor point and secure the tree trunk protector with a shackle. But instead of attaching the winch hook to the shackle, we attach a pulley block. This allows the winch cable to pass through it and then be run back to a suitable recovery point on the stuck vehicle. Doing this will have two major effects on your recovery. Number one, it will be much slower, exactly half the speed. But it will also halve the load on your winch and double the pulling power of your winch as well allowing your winch to move your vehicle forward with a whole lot less effort. Remember to place a recovery blanket over each of the rope lengths to ensure it's safe and make sure everyone is at a clear distance from the recovery. Once again, it's time to start winching. Remember to rest your winch, 30 seconds on, 60 seconds off. The final technique we'll run through today is the winch redirect. These are often used when clearing large trees from the track or when you need to change the direction of the winch line feeding into your winch. For today's example, we'll use the big tree we cleared from the track while in Tasmania on the Swanston track. We needed to move the tree off the track and into the bushes, so winching it back simply wouldn't do the trick. So while Jamie and I cut the tree, Jess and Leash set up a winch redirect using a large tree in the bush. The setup for a redirect is very similar to a double line pull and requires a tree trunk protector and a shackle at the redirect point, along with a pulley block, and in this case, a second tree trunk protector and a shackle at the tree. Once both the anchor points are set up, the winch rope is run out and fed through the pulley block and connected to the pin of the shackle onto the tree. This method allows us to pull the tree sideways off the track without needing to take a vehicle up into the bush damaging the environment. Recovery blankets are required on both lengths of the rope to keep it all safe and it's really important that everyone stands back just in case something happens. Now these are just a few of the winching techniques we use to get us out of trouble in Tasmania. So if you've got a few winching techniques, why don't you pop them in the comments below. If you want to find out more about the range of Tough Dog recovery gear or Sherpa winches, or to see more videos showing tips and techniques, head to the websites below.